Have you always wanted to play some Led Zeppelin on the acoustic guitar? In this lesson, we're breaking down their classic tangerine, step by step. Welcome back to Relax and Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin and this is Maggie May. Get those treats in there. My wife Vicky's behind the camera. Hello. Let's get started. Lesson, a couple of things to note. This one is uh, originally played on a 12 string guitar. Obviously, you're going to be using a six string guitar for the lesson. Either one will work. And if you're trying to play along with the record, um, you're going to notice something I did when I started kind of figuring it out. The recording is a little flat. So if you're going to play along with the record, you need to tune your strings down just slightly flat. In this lesson, this is just standard tuning, so you can play along with me. Um, this is definitely a step by step lesson. It's a great tune. There's a lot of cool open chords that sound great on the acoustic with some uh, you know strings and melody lines in between the first thing we're gonna do is talk about the chords for the song oh I should also note I am NOT teaching the solo <laughs> we're gonna leave the solo to Jimmy Page so the chords that you'll need to know for the song are an A minor an A suspended 4 which is a fancy way of saying Add your pinky to the second string third fret of that A minor shape. Oops. There we go. And the reason you're going to leave that A minor shape is because we're going to kind of be doing, uh, you know, some quick chord changes. So A minor, A suspended four, a G, a C. and a D. Now this D we're going to uh, add a couple of uh, easy chords to as well. If you remove your middle finger from the fretboard you're going to have a D suspended 2 chord. If you put your pinky down onto the uh, first string third fret you have a D suspended 4 chord. So three D chords, a D, D sus 2, D sus 4. You like that? Yeah, I do. It's a common little, I won't say it's a trick, but uh, you'll get a lot of mileage. A lot of D's. Out of lifting up, uh, yeah, out of just lifting up and pressing down with your fingers there on that chord. Be sure and click the link below in the description and get my free three song lesson bundle. I've got three great rock tunes for you, complete with tablature and the chord charts, everything you need, totally free. Check it out below. Step two is we're going to actually talk about the verse in a couple different sections. So uh, let me play the first part of the verse for you and then we will break it down. So it goes like this. stop there. So it starts on an A minor, so I'll leave the uh, chords and the lyrics up here on the screen. Basically for this verse, whenever you see a chord, just strum down one time. It's also good for like a first song to sing along to, because the vocal just kind of follows the strumming hand, which is um, a little easier to do when you're singing and playing the guitar at the same time. So we start on an A minor, put that pinky down for the A sus4, Back to the A minor. Then we have a no chord. So when you see in C, that means no chord. You're just basically playing the open strings. Then a G twice and D twice. Then you're going to reach down here and you're going to pluck the singular B string. Ding! Yeah, uh, the second string or the B string. And let me say this too, you don't have to be totally perfect on that part. Um, you're going to pluck that B string, but you also kind of want to, if you hit a couple other strings while you're doing that, no big deal. So from the top it is... I'll slow that way down. Then it just repeats uh, for the most part. It changes a little bit here, but the beginning's the same with. But then we're going to follow that up with two C's and another B string. 
Then we have our first riff. It's a walk down riff. It's pretty fast in the record. But I always say just kind of slow things down first to learn it correctly, quickly, and the speed will come later. So the way I would play this little uh, walk down riff here, if you're already got the C shape, that's the last chord we play before the walk down. We're gonna go strings five, four, three, two. Then we're gonna lift up our middle and ring finger, put our middle finger back down onto the fifth string second fret and do those same strings again, five, four, three, two. So it's. If you like this lesson so far, you're getting something out of it, you'd like others to see it too, hit that like button, we would really appreciate it. Then we get to an A minor chord again. We have our first non-just down strum. <laughs> so um, this, the movement of this song is amazing. It's just, it starts out kind of mellow, then it kind of picks up. So after that walk down riff, two down strums on an A minor, then a down up down, G down up down, D down up down. So the structure of the song is we have the verse progression played by itself. He's not singing over it. Then we have the verse where he's singing. And at the end of that verse where he's singing, after we finish the, uh, we have a little D riff. That's what I'm calling it anyway. So when we were talking about that D chord earlier, another fast one, but it's just sound. That's one you can just kind of noodle around with. So the way I'm doing that is I'm doing a down up on the D, then a down, I'm just gonna call it four instead of D suspended four, then down once on the D four, down once back on the D, so lift the pinky back up, then once down on the D suspended two, which is just lifting up your middle finger, and then back down once on the D chord. So slowly it looks like this. Down, up, down, 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 down. That's nice. You like that? I like that. Yeah, it's, you'll start hearing this in a lot of places once you kind of start, and you'll be like, oh, cool, I can play that now. Uh, I can, but you can. <laughs> yes, you could do it if you, you know, stuck to it. Maybe cut those fingernails a little bit. <laughs> So I'll play that one from the top uh, so you can see how all the riff and the, well, the walk down riff and the D riff all fit together. Um, and then we move into the chorus. So from the top, we have this. B string, repeat. To C, B string, the walk down, A minor. Get to a quick. After that quick C to D, we go into the chorus. I'll play it here, and then we'll uh, take the steps to break this one down. So it starts on a G. So um, it's our first time we've got a strum pattern in the song, really, um, because a lot of these have been kind of, like I said, playing like with the vocal. So for the strum pattern, um, I will break this one down. Don't even worry about like playing the chords right now. We're just gonna focus on this, the rhythm for this part. All right got some quick down ups especially kind of to start the pattern but we have down up down 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 up down down up down down up down 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 up down down up down down up down 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 up down down up down so after you've kind of practiced that just then work in the chords starting on that G D C C, D, G. 
Now the last line's a little funky because he holds onto that G until um, the next changes to the D chord, but you don't change to that D chord until like the and after the one count. <laughs> um, probably easier just to show you than explain yes. it. This is the and now a thousand years between part. So G and now a thousand years between. So it might be easier just to think of between is when you switch to the D, but it's just a little slightly off. It's a little funky. And then back into verse two, which is the same as verse one. Then after that second verse, we come to that amazing solo, uh, not played on an acoustic guitar, right. but I'll show you guys the chords that you can play under the solo if you want to play along with the record, um, or if you just want to kind of a break when you're singing it and playing it. So the solo goes like this. And then back into the chorus. And there's this cool Try not to bob your head while you're doing that one. <laughs> Almost impossible. He's moving the uh, the measure gets uh, split up here a little bit between the E and an F. And I would I play it this way. So here's an F bar chord. If you just lift up your index finger and move everything down a half step or one fret to the E, that way you don't have to. You have less movement in your hand. So it's E E F F. into a C and this is the same kind of funky timing that's at the end of each of the choruses only you're using a C and a D chord this time and then back to the C D into the chorus For some more great rock and roll tunes on the guitar, check out this playlist here I put together for you. Remember that Vicki and Maggie and I appreciate your views, your support here on YouTube. We're having a blast with it. We'll see you for the next lesson, and remember, you're never too old to learn. Take care.